Welcome to Hoffman's Hunting Heritage. From the Great Lakes to the Heartland, from the mountains to the sea, there's a hunting heritage in the blood of folks like you and me. With a rut and bucks and a gobble struts, it's hunting that we love. Mother Nature guides us on this land and we give thanks up above. This hunting heritage is a bond that never fades away. We're your camo wearing family from across the USA. So fill your cup and listen up, y'all mean so much to me. It's time for the show, so go grab your bow. This is a wild place to be. Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hoffman's Hunting Heritage. I'm your host, Bill Hoffman, and this week's show is all about catching trail cam thieves. And that's basically what I want the story I want to tell you today. You never want it to happen to you guys. You never want to, you know, be out hunting, be it your trail camera, your hell, your truck, or any of your equipment. Of course, tree stand theft is a major issue. You never think it's going to happen to you. You never want it to happen to you. But this September, right before the opening of bow season, it actually did happened to me i had a uh, cellular trail camera a cell cam so even a nicer cam a spy point link micro stolen from me and i was able to uh, track down the location of the camera and this it just made for a great story that now at the end of the year we're looking back about all the stories i have to tell with hunting season and this is like one of the number one stories i've been wanting to tell you but the reason i haven't told you yet on the show is because i've been waiting Waiting to hook up with the guy that I actually got on the line. This is the guy who, well, this is the, I want to say this is the guy that stole my trail camera. And, and I told him that's how I was going to introduce him, but that's not fair. This is the guy that ended up with my stolen trail camera. Tyler, how's it going, brother? Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Now, before we started recording the show, guys, I said, Tyler, how in the hell do I say your name? And I already forgot what he told me. So, Tyler, introduce yourself. Ha- Tyler Hoppenstricker. See, even he even he had to pause and think about his own damn name. <laughs> if you see it spelled out, you can see why I about Phil Kindergarten now. <laughs> <laughs> are you one of those kids that, like, um, when the substitute teacher comes to class and she's like, uh, okay, Johnny Smith here. Tyler, you just go, yeah, it's me. <laughs> yep, I always said it for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, <laughs> introducing Tyler and getting him on the show and say, well, this is the guy that ended up with my camera kind of doesn't really pay dividend or, or give the story a little bit of justice. So I, I'm going to tell you the story up to the point where um, – Basically, I met Tyler, and then we're, and then Tyler and I are going to talk from there a little bit more. But basically, how it works with the Spy Point trail cameras is they have a report stolen feature. Um, however, what happened with this is I had this camera way the hell out on some public land, right, dude? <laughs> like, <laughs> of, of all the cameras that I had out there, Tyler and I were the most surprised that that's the one that got stolen because it was it was a hike. Like the the thief. The thief that actually did steal it earned it, and or, or I shouldn't say earned it because he didn't earn it. He he, he uh, did work for it. He did work for it. That's a good way to say it, right? So <laughs> so it's about one point three or one point three miles probably back, but it's not even that. That's one point three. It was out in a swamp. It's not an easy place to get to. It's not like someone would just see it off a main trail. I, I have no idea why this person was going out there. So um, 
That being said, uh, I, I'm checking my camera pictures, and I'm in all my cell camera pictures. Are they're sending me pictures? You know, every couple of days, a deer walks through. Blah 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 blah. And it had gone like I don't know, like three or four days with no pictures. Not even like a false trigger or a raccoon or like a possum walking by or a bird or nothing. And I'm like, oh, I better go check on that camera. The other thing that's cool with the spy point cameras is when you download the app, you can check the status of the camera. And I saw that the last time that the camera had checked in had been a couple days doesn't necessarily mean the camera's stolen it could mean that you know maybe your batteries died on you that that's a possibility or maybe like an anti-hunter found it and just smashed it or or you know some asshole just walked up and turned it off but the worst thing was when i went out there to check on the camera it was completely gone and then i went to report it in the app as stolen and it didn't even show up in my app as being an available camera anymore. Because I have so many cameras, you know, and I'm in, in the Spy Point app, I'm like, well, it's just completely vanished. Well, Tyler, I didn't know this, and it's good to know, but the thief that stole it, um, <laughs> or, or when someone steals a camera, okay, and they mm -hmm. try to re-register it to themselves... Because it's a cellular camera, you've got to go in and put your name and your blah, 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 and all that. Well, what it does is it, it in their system, it, it makes it vanish from the previous owner's dashboard, right? right? Yep. So unbeknownst to us, what happened is that that was the point where you were trying to register it as your camera, right? And, yep. and newsflash, guys, he didn't steal it. He bought it stolen. He didn't know. But we'll get to that, all that in a minute. So... um. So I'm like, well, what the hell has disappeared? Now, of course, I know better now, so it's not a big deal. So uh, the greatest thing about this whole situation was I was able to call Spy Point customer service, got through right away, um, and actually... I sent them a Facebook message because where I was at, I had like, um, I didn't have like phone service, but I had internet service. So, um, I, I sent them a Facebook message. I chat with them on Facebook and I was like, you know, I, I got in the app and I could take screenshots of, um, you know, the, Hey, my camera used to be here. Now it's missing. This is the serial. I had all the serial numbers and all that because the app stores all that stuff for you. Right. So I was able to yep. tell them like the serial number. This was the last known GPS, you know, location, blah, 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 blah. So with this model camera, spy point can't specifically target it. They can't say, okay, that your camera is physically sitting right here, right now. With some other models that Spy Point sell, we do have that GPS location technology. Unfortunately, this one we didn't with the micro. So, but what they could tell me is that who was trying to register the camera to themselves. So, that gave me a lot of good information because it gave me that a guy named Tyler H, because it didn't give me your whole last name. I don't know why, but Tyler Part H. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it, um, it gave me Tyler H. It gave me your email address. And it gave me, I think, your phone number, right? So at this point, everyone that's listening knows that I work in law enforcement, right? And I can't, it doesn't matter where or for who, but I, I am a law enforcement officer. So immediately I go into detective mode, right? So um, I called Tyler and he answered the phone and he's like, hello. And I'm like, yeah, who this? And he's like, uh, Tyler. I was like, hey man. And I don't remember what I, I, I put on some stupid voice. I was like, Hey man, I'm looking for Mike, real estate guy. Is that you? And you're like, no, my name's Tyler. I'm like, Tyler, what? And then you gave me your full last name, right? Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember this phone call? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was I, me. <laughs> yeah, I just got out of work when that happened. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, Tyler. I said, Ty. I said, how do you spell that? And you're like, I think then you got maybe a little like, um, like suspicious. And you're like, can I help you with something? And I'm like. No, nah, man, it's cool. So you, you're not Mike. And, you're not, and I'm like, where are you from? And you're like, you know, we won't say home. You said your hometown, and right. which is about 15 miles from me. And I'm like, oh, I, I, I. And like, and then I think it just, the conversation just ended right there. So I was like, all right, I, I got the guys, I got the guy's last name, but it didn't really help me. So then, then <laughs> I go to, I go to, um, I go to Facebook, right? So then I'm like searching like all the weird, crazy ways that I can like lo look up your thing. So then, unbeknownst to you, I also emailed you from a fake account. 
<laughs> I created a oh. fake account and I emailed you. Tell I don't remember if I I think I had told you like hey, I I you'd won something at a raffle or something like that, and I needed your address right to send it to you, and I, I didn't get that back. But you'd asked me a question, and like through your email came back. It said like the city of the fire department that you work for, right? Yep. Or something like that, like in your signature. So I was like, oh, sh- we got some fire and ice we got happening. A hot target. Right? <laughs> like, I'm like, homeboy's a firefighter. And I'm like, oh, man, he's his world's going to get jacked up because he's getting hit for uh, theft and all this stolen property and blah, 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 blah. Right. So, exactly. so I take all this information and I, I call the sheriff's department because we're, um, where the camera was stolen from is not where I work, right? So you got to use the local authorities. So the sheriff, yep. the sheriff's deputy comes up, and I give him all this jazz, like the serial number. Uh, here's the person that has the camera. Here's the day that it was stolen. Here's the day that Tyler stole it. Here's the day, like blah blah blah. <laughs> like I have all this. And I was like, the only thing I don't have that would have been more perfect is if the camera actually took a picture of the thief. Right, right. Like, like if you're dicking around with it, t- takes a picture, sends it to me. So, so he's like. Oh, well, this is going to be pretty easy. <laughs> and I'm like, yep. yeah, I just did all your work for you, Depp. Go get my ki- go get my shit. So <laughs> so the 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 deputy, you know, I, I think he called you and like he called me back like uh 10 minutes later. He's like, the dude that's got your camera isn't the thief. And I'm like, "Oh, really?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I've talked to him. He's straight up. He's a firefighter." <laughs> well, hold on, before we even get any far further than that. How much did you actually pay for the camera? I paid forty dollars for it off marketplace. Off the face, so you found it on Facebook Marketplace. Yep. For a, for and how much was that camera at that time? Do you remember? Like, I mean, retail the, was probably like one something. One twenty to one forty ish is average is what they were going for. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> all right. So, so okay. So we'll we'll get back to. So the deputy calls me and he says. Hey, I'm I'm going up to meet the guy, or he's he's coming down this way. I'm gonna get your camera for you. Uh, you you can quit investigating him. He he's legit. He's cool. Blah 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 blah. And um, but okay. So from that, fr- so we'll we'll jump to that point real quick. But how did you end up with the camera? So you, you saw it for sale on Marketplace. But run me through that. Yep, I ended up going to a uh, trailer park that was a mile away from the state land where you had the camera. And oh okay guy. oh so so someone pretty that lived pretty close to the state land then exactly yeah yep and the thing that's crazy about it was I, it was i bought it on a saturday evening roughly about 7 p.m uh down there and uh I ended up getting it getting home and i'm sitting there i downloaded the spy point app and i sat there and i kept I uh, scanned the barcode and everything like the app tells you to, and I just couldn't get it to register my phone. And I, I mean, I tell you what, I probably messed with this thing for probably about, I don't know, three hours. <laughs> I kept setting it up in front of my TV, dancing, doing whatever I could do, and it would never send me no photos. So I'm sitting there like, you know, what the heck's going on with this thing? I got ripped the reason why I was only a $40 camera, you know? Well, and let's be clear, if you bought a new one out of the store, out of the package, we're, we're talking about a 10-minute process, and now you're three hours in. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh... Well, I mean, for uh, later on discussion, you know, yeah, from we'll, land Gia, but <laughs> right, yeah. we'll we'll get, we'll get there, we'll get there. So yeah. yeah, so something that's very simple to do with a normal camera, with a normal you know camera that you buy is 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 giving you all this fits. So did that raise your suspicions at all, or were you just like this thing's a piece of crap? I honestly thought maybe I just kind of got ripped and bought a camera that was maybe, I don't know, because I know trail cameras, you know, if they sit in the elements too long, right. you kind of lose your life, whatever. Yep. So I was like, you know, maybe I just got ripped. No reason why the guy wanted 40 bucks, you know? <laughs> so I sat there and uh, I said, screw, I had to go to work the next day. I went to work and uh, it wasn't even 830 in the morning yet. I just punched in, was getting ready to jump in my work truck to go do my daily duties. And all of a sudden, uh, it was uh, Officer Bill. I was like, uh, not me, hello? not not me. The nope. the deputy's name is also Bill. Yep. And uh, he sat there and said, uh, is this uh, Tyler Hobbinsterker? I'm like, uh, yeah, the one and only. And he's like, oh, hey, I got a question for you about a camera in your possession. I'm like, uh, all right, so go ahead and ask. He's like, hey, it finds out that that camera's uh, it actually been reported stolen. I'm like, all right, you know, first things first, you know, <laughs> I didn't, you know, go out in the woods and take this thing or nothing like that, you know. Um I straight up told him, you know, uh, I bought it from a guy down in, um, 
so, down by the state land. Yeah, right. <laughs> we, guys, we are specifically not mentioning where I hunt. <laughs> because I, Tyler hunts there too, and we've we've shot some monsters out of this area. So we are we are being vague and specific. But anyway, okay, go ahead. So um, I ended up uh, telling him, you know, the location of where I met this guy at and got him, got it. And he's like, oh, okay, well, you know, I mean, you know, uh, would you be interested in, you know, doing the right thing and turn the camera back? I said, well, of course, you know, and he's like, you know, he's like, um, oh, what was what he saying? He said something about, you know, it, it was another uh, fellow officer's camera. I was like, oh, man, so this is just a double whammy, you know? I mean, you know, <laughs> I instantly, like, my heart dropped because, you know, I had never been in trouble in my life, you know? I mean, <laughs> you can uh, you can uh, look at my record, ask my mom, everything like that. I mean, I never even been in a fist fight in school, you know what I mean? Oh, we so did. It's like, we did. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't talk to your mom, but we looked you up. <laughs> <laughs> but, you no, know, it was it was just, it was just funny because I'm sitting there like like, you know, how, how how in the world is this going to happen, you know? So, you know, it was just funny because I was just telling my grandfather just like the day prior to it, you know? Like, you know, I bought this trail camera we could take up to our property and stuff like that. And you ain't got to worry about taking weekend trips up north to check it. And, you know, it comes right to my phone and everything like that. You know, I thought it was all, you know, too good to be true. And apparently it was too good to be true. So right. um, I ended up taking a half day at work and meeting up with Officer Bill returning on the camera. And then that's when you and I started to make more contact. Yeah, because I I had your phone number at, at that point, and uh, and we were still like, uh, I was still like interested in busting the uh, the guy that actually stole it. So yep. And I, you know, I don't want to put down the sheriff's deputies or nothing like that, but we're talking. I mean, they got more important things to do, maybe than chase down a trail camera thief. You know. Mm-hmm. But my whole point was that's not the only thing that's getting stolen out there. There's people's tree stands getting ripped from that state land. There's, you know, there's other problems out there. Right. So, exactly. so, you know, if you can, if you, you know, you catch one guy and then all of a sudden, Oh, nothing else gets stolen for six months. Well, maybe that's because you caught the guy that was doing everything. Oh. Right. So right. W- when you met up with this guy, did he look shady as hell or anything? Or was just a normal dude or what was it? No, I mean, he was just, uh, just a regular Joe looking like me, you know, and I mean, he didn't carry himself around like he was a bum or nothing like that or up to no good. I mean, he had a nice truck and everything like that. So, you know, I was like, sweet, you know, I mean. Did he have like any, I don't know if you remember, like, was he wearing like camouflage? Did he look like a guy that hunts or? or? No, I mean, he just came up in his regular casual clothes, you know, I mean, like I said, he just said, you know, he's got a stockpile of cameras is what he told me and he just didn't need that one no more. So I was like, okay, because he, he told me that he upgraded to a couple of the different models of uh, the spy point cameras. Oh. So, you know, with this one not having the GPS tracking capabilities, he was telling me is the reason, you know, is the biggest reason why he didn't want to have it anymore. You know, he didn't leave out the key factor that it was a hot camera. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go figure. So at, at this point, okay, so now you're you're out the camera, obviously, right? So yep. you're... Um, Let's see, you you spent gas to drive it back to me because we don't, mm-hmm. you know, it's 15, 20 miles, whatever. So yep. you drove it back to me, sir. You're out the gas. You're obviously out a half a day of work. Yeah. Right. So this whole, and you're out 40 bucks. Exactly. So this, this whole, or in, and it, long story short, I'm out a memory card because the, the guy that stole it stole the memory card, which if he does have a bunch of big cameras, he just wiped all the images off of it and saved the memory card. But, um, that is what it is. So you're out half a day of work. You're out all this time. You're out 40 bucks, but, uh, ended up working out. Okay. For you. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, it was uh, probably about a day and a half goes by. I was working on my truck and you called me again and he's like, Hey Tyler, you know, on a, r- a serious note this time, not for no uh, real estate purposes or anything like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. I use my actual, call. I use my actual voice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, you ended up asking me about if I could, uh, borrow, uh, or give you my address. Uh, you made a uh, contact with, uh, Lane, Lane Gia, correct? Yep. Um, you know, you, uh, you went the extra mile and so did the guys over there, uh, you know, for me doing the right thing and stuff like that, you know, you guys actually sent me my own camera in the mail. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. I, uh, I had, I had posted this whole, I had posted about the, this whole drama and I never put your personal information on there, even when I still thought you were the thief, right? Because right. that's just not the right thing to do yet. Right. So, but I had posted, Oh, I got this guy, blah, blah, blah. Oh, trail cameras are stolen and I have a pretty big following on Facebook and like people are like, oh, get the thief, get the thief. And they knew they're like, oh shit, they stole Billy's camera. They are screwed. 
So oh, yeah. they're like, they're like get, the thief, get the thief, get the thief. So then I'm like, oh, I, I found I found him on Facebook. He works for a fire department. Oh my God, I'm, he's going to get fired from yep. his fire department. There's ethics clauses, blah, blah. You know, like everyone's like, oh my God, what a dumb ass. So blah, 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 blah. Right. So Langia started following it. So then I made the big post. And this time was the first time that I tagged you in it. And I was like, listen, this is Tyler H. This is the guy that ended up with my camera. He's a straight up dude. Like I talked to him, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we've become friends. Da, 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 da. And like, you know just totally like he, he he's a great guy and um you know so in the long run I, I you know i lost a camera for a few days and a memory card but i got a good buddy out of it so i, I posted all that so langia who i've you know I, i'm on their pro staff i've worked with them for years um for those of you that don't familiar it's langia.com l-a-n-d-g-e-a.com they are basically amazon.com but for outdoor stuff right so right. um Langia and I, I just got done hanging out with them at the ATA show, which we talked about on last week's show, which was really cool. So, uh, yeah, so Matt Hyatt, um, hears about everything and Langia is a spy point dealer. So Matt says, you know what? Um, we want, we want to hook Tyler up because, uh, even though he, he you know, he's not in any trouble and he did the right thing by bringing it back. Not like you had that much of a choice, but he, he's a good dude and the thief screwed him too. Right. So, right. yeah. So I was like, oh, that dude, you know, Matt Hyatt at the Langia crew, it was, I was like, that, that's just, that's freaking fantastic. And so it, they put the purchase order in. It took a while to get through, but you finally did get your Spy Point League micro. And, exactly. Yeah. And you were able to use it this year. So I don't know what the moral of the story is. I think the moral of the story is don't buy trail cameras on Facebook Marketplace. because. <laughs> but <laughs> Or if you do, take a picture of the driver's license of the person you're buying it from. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for, exactly. <laughs> for future reference or at least get a plate number. Um, but, I mean, you had no reason to suspect that. But... <laughs> right. Well, I mean, what was funny too about like, you know, when Bill called me, you know, was asking me about the possession of this camera, like how I got it and stuff. It's like that, you know, cause he was telling me, you know, some guy came out and took it off of the, your hunting area and stuff like that. And it's like, well, you know, Bill, with all respect do, you know, if I'm going to go out and try to, you know, jack someone's tree off of a or camera off of a tree, you know, I'm going to make sure it's not going to have an antenna sticking out of the side, you know, so this is a dead giveaway, you know, <laughs> right. it's not like linked to it, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like you know, just like as you learned, you know, through your little detective investigating, you know, when uh, you first thought it was me, I'd be a horrible criminal or criminal criminal anyway you know what i mean yeah you <laughs> I mean, would you, you would 30 seconds yeah. you had everything about me hey, <laughs> hey who this who this this mike mike from the real estate company <laughs> you're like no this is tyler <laughs> and my social security number is and i <laughs> like shoot man <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, so yeah but but again you know since that's happened tyler and i we hunt the same area so we've gone out uh scouting um you know i think twice together and um you know we we've, we've kind of respected each other and we both hunt the same area but not on the same days and there's been text back and forth hey you going there i'm going there blah 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 neither one of us killed a deer in that area or did you kill a deer out there this year no, no um with work and everything like that and then the, the little one uh i really kind of had my t- hands tied up i didn't actually kill a deer anywhere this year oh okay so <laughs> embarrassing. yeah so he sucks at hunting guys but um no <laughs> 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 i'm totally kidding totally kidding of course but um so the fact that i you know you can hear us cutting it back up we do talk quite often back and forth and stuff he, he's a good guy he's a, he's a husband he's a father he's a stepdad which is even a harder job to have and the only the only bad thing i can say about this guy on the line right now is that he decided to be a firefighter so you know it is what hey, it man, is it's not my fault you failed the fire academy the first time I had to- right <laughs> <laughs> well there's that you know you're not the first firefighter i had the times up outdoors guys nico tanti on the show and uh he's he's detroit city fire department and uh i tell you what the, the when i get when i look at the firefighters i just get jealous of the food y'all get at the firehouse man it always looks so good <laughs> and like we're eating 99 cent heart attacks out of a mcdonald's bag in the cruiser exactly you know but anyway i want to thank you for your service to our community to your community as a um first responder as a firefighter as a fellow hunter and thanks for i want to thank you for coming on and doing the show yeah and i definitely want to give a good shout out to matt at langia and you know and again i want to greatly appreciate you and thank you as well for having me on your show and then especially you know with the camera you know like i said met something totally that came out of my mind or I didn't even see that coming or anything like that. You know I mean? That was 
that right there was well, you know, that was pure sportsmanship right there. You know, I mean, it's it was really cool to see. You know, there's actually good people still out there that you know take care of each other and you know do great things like that. You know, you know, and it, and, and, and it was really amazing too of, of when you actually have a camera stolen how it only took me five minutes to actually set it up for it to work too yeah right yeah so yeah when it's new out of the package and the spy point process is pretty sweet so uh i don't know uh you're you guys um we're pre-recording this a little bit so my best of ata uh, best in show episode hasn't released so tyler hasn't heard this so i, I always want to get a little live reaction have you uh paid attention to all of the what's been happening at the archery trade association show over the last weekend uh no i have not okay spy point is coming out with this thing they call the cell link and it plugs into the um, memory card port of any camera out there in the market and turns it into a cell camera no kidding. Yeah, so you can you say you have like you were talking about your grand, you know, you have cameras up that you take up to your grandpa's and you have to, you know, run up there and check them and stuff. So now you don't uh-huh. you don't even have to buy new cameras. You just right. buy the cell link, right? Plug that uh-huh. into your camera and it comes right to your app. So the cam your camera takes the pictures just like it always has, and when your mm-hmm. camera goes to save it to the memory card that you normally would have, in place of that yep. memory card is the cell link. And the cell link now sends that up to your spy point app. So you can have Tasco or Bushnell or Wild Game or or you know like those Tascos that we used out there that you got at Walmart, right? Those yep. those cheap ones. You we for fifty nine dollars now, we can turn those into a cell cam. That's not bad at all. That's actually a genius idea. Right. And I was surprised it was only going to be 59 bucks. Right. Yeah. I mean, shoot. I mean, that's for the price right there of an actual micro, link micro, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. My, the, the spy point link micros are, the, I think they're right now or like a hundred bucks, you know, 105, something, right. something like that. But you could buy, but if you already have the cameras, yeah, you just buy the cell, yeah. you just buy the cell links Yeah. because you're going to, you, you know, you're getting two cell cameras for the same price, pretty much. Now, do you know if those uh, this new design that they came out for these cameras now are they also GPS trackable that you know of? Or so the GPS trackable is only going to be on the higher, like higher the, brand, the higher ones, like the the um the Evo Solar. So it's going to be the the high the higher ones that have like the solar panels on them. But they did mm-hmm. come out with um, this year. They do have a Link Micro with a solar attachment. Which is pretty cool, and they got so. And what basically what they've gone to is that they're not running batteries at all. It's running a lithium-ion battery pack, so you don't even have to buy batteries anymore. You're good for life. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so you for, so now you could put that that link cellular out there, right? Um, mm-hmm. You could put the sorry, you could put the micro solar out, and you with a full battery charge because it'll run off. It'll run off a of solar. 